back to my DIY koi pond. Today, I'm gonna be starting up my uh, three barrel filter system since the weather, weather is nice and I'm getting warmer now. So, I'm gonna set it up and get it ready. So, as you can see, I have my skimmers running already. Waterfall is running. Skimmer is running. But first, I need to replace the light bulb for the UV light. So I bought a new replacement bulb from uh, Amazon. Look this inside. This package here. So I took the old one, old one out already. So this is the old one, as you can see. A little bit discoloration, but uh, it's not too bad but it's, it's been two years already so this year it's coming to the third year there were the uh, overheat in this area too so it's supposed to replace every year but i've gone through it for two years already so it's time to replace so this is the uh, new one that i got from amazon so I'm gonna put the link in the description so if anyone has the same system so right here so it's identical so I'm gonna replace it with this one so basically I already removed a cap just I'm gonna show you the installation Removal will be just the reverse of installation. So, first, I'm gonna remove the cap for the old pop, put on to the new one. So, okay, just pull it out like that, not too hard. Sit it in there, then. Put it over here. It just set a light bulb inside this. Mm. Oh, I don't think it doesn't matter which way. Yeah, just push it all the way in and slide it into the tube and screw it back on. So, you got this side, you got the wire, so I'm gonna hold it steady and I'm just screwing the tube counterclockwise to set it back in. So, that should be good. So, now I'm ready to mount my UV light onto the wall. So I got a UV light installed and uh, run the electrical on the way to the block. Next thing, I'm gonna set up the uh, the pump uh, for the three barrel with this uh, basket.
there so I got the pump all set and drop down the control unit already set right into that little wooden house and in here everything is blocked in wow closed and UV light is all hooked up let's start it up and three barrel on I'll let the water run through first before I turn on the UV light it's coming I still haven't found the uh, the screen for this side yet. It went out there. I tried to take out some media to look for it, but I couldn't find it, so I said forget it. I'll put this one on here for now. So, water coming in. To bearer number one. Okay, now the water is running through with uh, barrel number two now. Still hanging in that pocket. All right, now we're going to barrel number three. Oh, piece of dirt. Look at that. <laughs> Sitting inside there for the whole winter. Oh, another one. Oh, excuse me. Another one. Oh. Now this one is filled up and the water run through back to the pond now. You can see right there. That's my outlet. So now I can turn on my aerator. So using this one. Okay, this is my air pump. It's running through now. So I have the media circulate initially. So see my the airstone stay in the same place as last year. I can get a good circulation at the startup now. Let 
Let's go. Jolly boils nicely. Now this year, I'm gonna try not to put any beneficial bacteria anymore as my pond is already mature. So I hope there'll be some beneficial bacteria inside the pond already that would draw inside this system and and uh, bacteria are gonna stay inside here to uh, uh, purify the water, uh, clarify the water. So I think I get a good circulation for this media already to begin with. Okay, next I'm gonna turn on the uh, UV lights on. Yeah, as you can see, oh, it's much brighter now. So you can see the light is on, the light is working. It's brighter than the, uh, the old one. Of course, because the old one was old, two years old. Hopefully this will work better for the algae. Reduce the algae. Alright guys, so that's my setup for my three barrel. Again, this is year number three for this system. Put the lid on. Two. Three or number one. So one, two, three. All right, everything's still good. No leakage anywhere. This patch is still here, holding up pretty good. The uni seal works fantastic no leaks no leaks all right that's my floor right there It has leaked over there, so I need to uh, tighten that one more, I guess. Let's fix this leak. All right, guys, I had to shut down the pump. And we connect that hose right here. So it's all good now. No more leaking. So, got my three barrel system started up. Waterfall started up. And the pond is now ready for the season. Can't wait for the weather getting warmer so I can see more fish down into to my pond and hopefully the water will get clear soon but right now it's gonna have greenish and uh, soon I'm gonna pull up that uh, the ice and flat yeah I'm gonna pull up that the ice and put it away yeah that's it for today guys Thanks for watching. Bye for now.